So guys, I'm a verified educator on an online learning platform called Unacademy, right? Where I'm making courses for gate examination, both in Hindi and English, right? So you can download the Unacademy learning app, search my name over there, Ace Haiti, and follow me on that particular platform for awesome videos on the gate chemistry examination. Right, so a very good evening to all of you. Now the DRDO has recently taken out, taken out a vacancy for um, you know <clears throat> many candidates of PSC. Now it is an amazing opportunity, and basically the recruiting body is your Center for Personal Talent Management, that is SEPTIM, and this is known as SEPTIM 2018 or SEPTIM 9 SEPTIM 9 exam. Now, even though it's a very good opportunity for BSc students and those who have a diploma, yet on the other hand, it's it's you know it's a bizarre uh, I don't know how to how to put it it's it's a very bizarre eligibility criteria like they the candidates who have a B Tech M Tech that is a higher degree or a MSc or a PhD uh, they are not eligible for this particular exam which is really really shocking because. I don't know what criteria they have used for the eligibility, but there are so many unemployed candidates with a higher, you know, qualification and, uh, you know, they are not recruiting them. They are recruiting diploma candidates and BSc candidates. So it's, it's quite shocking, to be honest, right? Uh, I mean, I don't know what they are trying to do, uh, but things are not looking good. If things continue this way all right anyway so uh, talking about the exam so the recruit if you want to see the hindi version of this particular video i'll give you the link on the top hand top hand right corner all right now <clears throat> coming on to the recruitment so the recruitment is 494 vacancies are there in different subjects i'll talk about the eligibility and what all subjects are there and uh, so the last date of application is 29th august 2018 as you can see and uh, the application process online application process has started today that is on 4th august from 5 pm onwards now if i talk about the um, the eligibility criteria which i found to be really bizarre first of all the essential qualification is either you should have a bachelor's degree in science or three years diploma in engineering or technology or computer sciences okay so a diploma or a bsc degree along with that <clears throat> now here they have clearly mentioned that please note that the candidates possessing higher qualification vis-a-vis -vis msc or btec or b or phd degree as on crucial date of eligibility shall not be considered for the recruitment all right and what is the crucial date of eligibility the last date of application here they have mentioned 29th august 2018 as the crucial date of eligibility all right so this is this is only the crucial date of eligibility 29th august 2018 that means that if your msc if you get your msc degree or your phd degree or your btech degree before 29th august 2018 so let's say i get my msc degree on 1st august 2018 that means i'm not eligible for this exam which is <laughs> mind-blowing i mean higher qualification students are not eligible for such exams they have a very handsome uh, salary around fifty thousand a month which is quite quite lucrative right i mean if you are a bsc candidate and right after a bsc right after you get you know basically you are a fresher and offering fifty thousand of uh, salary that to in a government job for a fresher it's a really good opportunity so i think even msc students and still and some psc students would have also been interested in this particular you know uh, job but they are not eligible uh, one more thing that you need to know is that you should have a bsc degree before your 29th before 29th august 2018 so they have also mentioned this that uh, those awaiting results of final examination as on crucial date of eligi eligibility for the prescribed quali qualification are not eligible that means if your results have not been disclosed by 29th august 2018 let's say you are in third year and till 29th august 2018 your bsc results are not out then you are not eligible so that means second year candidates are not eligible because there's no way that by 29th august you will have your results only third year candidates uh, who, who get their results before 29th august 2018 will be eligible for this particular exam right so second year second year students are not eligible msc students are not eligible but msc first year students are eligible right so because if you are in msc first year then in in july august you will be going in second year right so you would not get your msc degree before 29th august 2018 you will get your msc degree somewhere in july 2019 right so then you are eligible for this particular exam so msc first year candidates and those who have just qualified their bsc they can apply for this particular examination now the age limit is from 18 to 28 years 
So if you are between 18 to 28 years, you can apply for this examination. Uh, so these are the various fields, agriculture, automobile engineering. Uh, before that, there's also one more criteria which is important for eligibility. That is, let's say if you have BSc chemistry, right, BSc honors chemistry, then it's okay. But let's say if you have BSc sciences, general science, BSc general, then you should, and if you're applying for chemistry, then you should have at least two years uh, of coursework of chemistry in your BSc, all right? So that is also one main eligibility criteria. So I don't, I hope now there are no doubts. I've explained in detail what are the eligibility criteria. Um, I, I hope there is now no doubt left in your mind regarding the eligibility criteria. So these are the subjects, chemistry, chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer science, electronics, you know, different, different seats. Uh, if I talk about chemistry in particular, there are 24 seats, now 10 for general candidates, nine for your OBC. Um, two for ST and three for SC candidates. All right. And uh, okay, so these are the various conditions that I've already spoken to you about. Um, then uh, <clears throat> coming on to the exam, these are the centers where the, the exam is basically of there will be two levels one is tier one level and the other is tier two level. All right. So you have to first qualify tier one and then you have to go for tier two. These are the various centers where your tier one exam will be conducted. There are 47 centers. So uh, hopefully the one of the centers will be near your hometown. Okay. And the uh, application fees is quite nominal for general and OBC candidates. It's, it's about um, uh, 100 rupees. And for other candidates that is SC, ST, uh, physically handicapped and f female candidates, there's no, no application fees. That is, you can fill it for free. Right. Now talking about the entrance exam. So there are two, I'd like I told you there are two levels. First, you have to clear level one which is also called as your screening examination, right? So it's called your screening examination. So it will con consist of your general aptitude, basically general intelligence and reasoning. And along with that will also consider basic English language and general science. So if you have given NDA and Naval Academy exam after class 12th, it has two papers. One is your mathematics paper and one is your um, paper on basic English. Uh, general awareness that is your general aptitude and general science okay so um, you should be uh, you should you know uh, try and solve those questions to have uh, some practice and the questions will be somehow related to that only that's what i feel uh, general awareness means your current affairs should be good um, your general aptitude should be good you should have basic english language uh, you know knowledge and general science like till about class 10th i think all right and then once you qualify this, um, so the maximum marks you can score is 150. There will be 150 questions and you will have a time of two hours. And uh, so the minimum eligibility criteria for this exam is you should get minimum 40%. That means 40% of 150, that means 60 marks. So the minimum marks you have to get to qualify this exam is 60. But even if you get 60, that does not guarantee that you will be qualified. You will qualify for tier two examination or level two examination. So they, here they mentioned the ratio as one is to 10. So let's say if, if I'm talking about chemistry, there are 24 seats. So one is to 10 ratio means uh, for the second tier examination or the level two examination, they will call 240 candidates. Okay, so they'll call 240 candidates for the level two examination. Now, let's say that 400 candidates got above 60 marks. That is above the minimum eligibility criteria. Then only the top 240 will be called. Okay, so the minimum eligibility criteria is 60, but that does not guarantee that you will be called for level two. Uh, for get for getting to level two you need to be in top 240 all right but let's say if only 200 candidates got above 60 marks that is a minimum eligibility criteria and even though your rank is 225 but you have not got that minimum eligibility criteria of 40 percent or 60 marks then again you will not be eligible for level two okay so minimum criteria is 40 percent above but you, your rank should be in top 240 if i talk about chemistry because they have mentioned one is to ten right the number of vacancies and the number of candidates called. So if there are 24 seats, then 240 are the, uh, um, you know, 240 are the people who will be called for the level two examination. Now the level two examination again is of uh, cons consisting of 100 questions in the relevant field. So if you are doing psychology, then questions will be uh, related to psychology. If you are doing chemistry, questions will be related to chemistry. So whatever your subject is, the questions are going to be related to that. The screening exam is going to be common for all subjects, right? In level two, again, we have 100 marks paper and 100 question. That, mean, that means one, one question carries one mark. There's no negative marking in this particular paper. And the duration for the level two examination is 90 minutes or one and a half hours, all right? There's no negative marking, so that's a good thing. And a very, very important thing is that there's no interview. So 
purely your selection will be there on the merit basis there will be no interview whatsoever uh, for this particular exam so those who are not very confident with their language or are not very confident with um, interviews it's a good news for them all right and uh, so uh, your level one marks will only be seen for eligibility whatever marks you get in level two that will decide your rank all right so even if you get very good score in level one that does not guarantee that you will also qualify level two because level one ma level one exam is just as you can think of it as a qualification exam all your marks all your ranking will be dependent on level two examination all right now so there that's about it if you want to um, know more about this exam what you can do is i'll tell you how to go to the website so on your google page you can just type um septem 2018 all right so you can go to google and you can just type the septem 2018 the first link that will open is your drdo link drdo.gov.in you click that particular link and this opens up so this is the link for the advertisement and this is how you can apply so they have given how to apply also and everything so you can fill out the online application form and don't delay it you know just fill it out whenever you get the time today saturday so sunday you will be free so try and fill it out tomorrow itself right if you are, i don't think you should have any more queries in case you do have them please uh, mention it down in the comment section all right so thank you so much for watching and uh, that's it thank you